Live in the most exciting display industry convention in China, I'm Xiyue with Xinhua News Agency. You are now watching Xinhua News Live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We're right now in the 2021 World Convention on the Display Industry held in Hefei, East China's Anhui province. And right here with me is Rasa. He's an international student from Afghanistan. Hi. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Rasa, and my Chinese name is Xi Yue. It happened that we got the same name pronunciation as my Chinese reporter, Xi Yue. It's quite fine, right? Yeah, what are the odds? It's the first time I've seen someone with the same Chinese name as me. And I have to say it is all thanks to this, to this magical place, yeah, to Hefei, right. the city where miracle happens. So today we're standing in the immersive display and this is quite trendy in China right now. You can see that uh, when you were standing in this square screens and take a picture, your friends might actually think you are in the jungle of a Jurassic Park. So what do you think about this display? Cool. Uh, I think quite fun. In, in my impression, uh, screens are just uh, flat displays. I didn't expect that the, uh, they can show such a real thing. Yes, definitely. And today there are a lot of other interesting displays in this yeah. convention. You will check it. All right, let's check out. Mm -hmm. Well, check out this cool car over here. All right, let's go. Yeah, we will, we will see dance for a moment. We can see what was the car sign. Check out this car. You can see that there are actually two little screens yeah. on its headlights, right? right. Can you yeah. see which what pattern that is? Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, so wow. two men walking on right on the headlights, and I think it's like making notice to the pedestrian to invite them to walk fast. Wow, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty... that looks pretty cool. I didn't expect that cars can dance. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. So let's talk with the staff here to learn Hi. more about this amazing car. Yeah, sure. Hello, guys. Hello. Hi. Hi. In this car, we have a multi-sensory interaction system, including a touch screens, voice control, and a visual detection system. Now we can see two people in the front of the car. Mm -hmm. They are signs to remind passengers to cross the road at night. Oh, that's pretty cool. Really cool. So we really see cars in the display convention, right? Yes. So your presence here is quite exciting and interesting. Yeah. So what other display applications you have on the car? Uh, you can get in the car. I can show you something. Oh, cool. Maybe we can check in the car. This, this part, I'm supposed to stay here or there? You can just stand in right next to me and okay. check out this car. Yes. So uh, now we have three screens. Inside uh -huh. this car, yeah, they're pretty there's, huge. Yeah, uh, there's three screens. They can uh, play individually or together. Yes. And uh, I have a question. Uh -huh. How often do you drive? Yeah, pretty often. I drive to work every day. Okay. When you drive, uh, usually we'll have a problem like uh, when you you have to, to look down to see the navigation on a screen on yes. your or on your smartphone. Yes. Which is quite dangerous. But in our case, in this car, we have a HUD HUD head-up display in front of your site. Oh, yes, I can see that there are three little labels yes. in front of me that shows the speed, right, and the direction. Yeah. There, were, there is a projection including speed and navigation in front of your site. Oh. So if you look straight ahead, it's much safer than you look down to check your smartphone or to look the screen. Yes, yes, that's pretty cool. Hi, Reza. Yeah. <laughs> check out this. Check out this cool application. You can see right ahead. Can you see that it's showing the speed of a car and the direction? Where? Yeah. Right come there. Here. Come here to my place. Really? Can you see? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. What do you think of this application? Uh, it sounds pretty good. I think if the windshield could be directly made into this display screen, it could be even better 
Yes, yes, I believe so. But when we maybe we explore to the innovation part of the convention, your oh. dreams may come true. All right, sure. Thank you, yeah. thank you so much. I can't wait to see that. Let Let's go. Yes. Let's keep going. So there are still some other cool exhibitions here, and yeah. have you seen that little car over there? That looks pretty cool, right? <laughs> Let's check out. So this car, have you noticed anything different? Is there anything more to this car than ordinary cars? Uh, actually, no, but uh, I have noticed that there is no brake and acceleration paddles. Yes, yes, that's right. But this is actually a conceptual model to show the display how will the display go in the vehicle? So you can see that. <laughs> I come here. All right. You can see there are two little screens on each side of the A pillar, right? You probably know that the A pillar blocks a lot of view when you were driving the car, right? It makes yeah, it dangerous sure. for the driver and the pedestrians. So the company here, they added two little screens on the A-pillars and the camera outside the car, they will capture the image the environment outside the car, the view that's been blocked by the A-pillars and make wow. it displayed on the little, little screens so wow. that yeah, it may be much wow. safer Me, for even drivers. I cannot imagine these technological innovations and these conceptual things which is happening, really. Yes, it's a quite clever design. Yeah. But there's still a lot more to explore here. All right. So let's. What's that? Let's, I think it it's like... just a model start engine. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it makes cool sounds and yeah. it lights up the screens here. So maybe All in right. the future, when the cars were driving autonomously, there's mm. no there's no drivers. People can like watch a video, watch a film in the car when you were driving your way to yes. work. Yes. Yep. Yeah. That would be cool. Really. So, Yes, really. Yes, let's check out the other places of the convention. So, Rasa, have you known that over the years, the display industry in China has been developed really fast recently? Like in 2020, the re direct revenue of the display industry in China is over 446 billion yuan that's about 70 billion dollars the direct revenue 17 70 billion US dollars yes yes right wow, that's the that's direct huge. revenue of the new display industry in China so this industry has been developed quite fast here with the policies with the industry innovations cool uh-huh the industry scale is actually the ranking the first globally and uh, over here, you can see three screens. They look, maybe they look quite normal to you, but actually they are laser movie projectors and laser TVs using the latest laser projection technologies. Oh, yeah. So compared with ordinary technology, the laser projection technology actually brings more colors, richer colors, and it consumes less power. Actually, I just got a question. Why is the world display industry can France held in Hefei, Anhui province? After all, it was just a little known town 10 years ago. Well, actually, uh, can you guess the annual revenue, the production, uh, the industry size of the panel industry in Hefei? So you know that in last year, the annual production of uh, display panels in Hefei has reached 32 million square meters. 32 million square meters? Yes, over 32 million, million square meters. Wow, that's yes, a that's, huge work. Yes, that's a lot. It accounts yeah. for about 16% of the annual production in China. 16% all over China? Yes, yes. Wow, congratulations. Yes, and that's over the years, good. The industry has been uh, per perfected in Hefei and there are a lot of a large number of well-known companies in Hefei. So people always say that Hefei is a dark horse city in China. Sure, you one of one of the third 
Docker city in China. Yeah, yes. I heard too. Yes. So over here we can see a blackboard here. I'm sure it looks a little different from the blackboard in your university, right? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, a bit, especially in the middle side, looks uh -huh. a bit different. Yes, let's talk with the stuff here. Okay。您这块黑板有什么不同吗？嗯，与传统黑板相比啊，它最大不同在于它中间是以整块的屏幕，它与两边的黑板进行了完美的嵌合。不仅如此啊，它中间这块屏幕还可以使用粉笔进行
So as you can see right here, a lot of world-known uh, companies have attended this convention, like TCL, Huawei, and ZTE, and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So there are over 30 companies attending this convention. Today, I was told, 30, yes, 30, 30 companies. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, there are a lot of, also a lot of visitors here. There are industrial visitors, and also uh, citizens come here to learn more about the display industry. Oh, hello, excuse hello, me. Hello, hello. Hi, uh, where are you from? I'm from Pakistan. Oh, Pakistan. Yeah. So, uh, what do you do here in China now? Actually, I just graduated from USTC. I did my PhD uh, from physics department. Now I'm working as an R&D expert in a, in a company, Corish here. And uh, we are doing backlight. We are doing work on the mini LED, micro LED, and mini COB, a lot of products. Oh, I see. So why do you come to this exhibition, this conference? Yeah, you, you know, you know, this is this is at, at, the, at the moment is a center of gravity in in Hafei, and I can say in China. So you know, our company was uh, very excited also, and I'm a, as a R and D expert was also excited. So we come here to learn and exchange new ideas, to interact with people, to interact with the you know display industry, uh, you know the big companies, big names. So we are here. Yes, that's great. So, what do you think about this exhibition? How do you find it? How have you achieved it? Yeah, you know, uh, I uh, I come here last year also, and this is my second time to this exhibition. And uh, from my previous experience, I love we learned a lot of new things, and that's why we decided to come here again this year. And uh, I would say uh, this is the. Very important uh, platform, which not only attracting the whole industry, whole China display industry, but also you know a lot of foreigners. Because when last year I exchanged my experience with the people uh, around the globe, they were also uh, very excited, and some people interact uh, uh, with this conference and attend this conference online. And uh, some of them are uh, talking with me to get ideas and uh, to know more about this. And I think it's a wonderful and uh, it's a wonderful platform. And as I told, as I mentioned before, it's a center of gravity at the moment. Well, that's great to hear. And I believe that as an expert of the display industry, you must know a lot about China's display industry. Yeah. Yes. And how they practice the display industry, right? Yeah, you know, uh, soon after my graduation, uh, it was the time to do a job, uh, either in another country or the, uh, China. Uh, why I choose China? This is the, the you will get the answer of your question also. That because you know at this moment China is the global leader in almost every walk of life. And as far as uh, uh, the display industry is concerned, you know the very big names, very big names are and uh, leading companies and the sports. Uh, all things are uh, moving towards China. Looking forward, looking towards China. Because the new technologies are coming, new products are coming, everything is coming from China. And I think that this is the, uh, China is at this moment, is leading the global race, I can say. That's a great answer. Thank you so much. Oh, and no, I hope so you enjoy your day here. Yeah, oh, thank you so much. So nice. So, so thank nice. you, thank you. See you next time. So let's check out this company is called Visionox. It has a lot of exciting, Visionox. yes, yeah. a lot of exciting displays over here. Okay, let's check out. Uh huh. First, can you show me how you roll this A4 paper, black oh, paper? Oh, you roll the A4 yes, paper? Yes. Okay. It's not a challenge, right? It's quite simple. You mean I take on my hand or put on the table? Okay, just like this. It's not a big challenge. Yes, it's it's quite easy just for like a this. college student like you, right? That? Yes. Yeah. Congratulations. Now the second challenge is that how do you roll this tablet? This is a hard object made yeah. of so many different materials. So I, I cannot hold you cannot roll it out. No, yeah. actually you can in the future. See this screen it scrolls perfectly without any difficulty. Wow, okay. Do you have any questions about this screen? So can I roll it? up right here the same as the or like a normal ordinary a4 paper uh yes unlike the conventional screen we see everywhere else you can roll this one up with a 
rolling radius of five millimeter. The screen is only as thin as uh, thin. yeah. Okay. The, the screen is as thin of as thin as a uh, zero point twenty four millimeter. Zero point twenty four millimeter. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Despite being so thin, there actually contains multiple layers uh, of it, and uh, we invented on every single layer to make it possible to roll and keep it reliable uh, based on our core technology of OLED. Right. Yes. That's really nice. It rolls perfectly, and the color is so bright. Yeah, and it doesn't affect the color and the objects which is written on the screen, digital screen. No, no, any affections. Yeah, it's cool. You look so into the screen. Do you want to buy it? Uh, oh, yeah, absolutely, sure. So, how can I buy it? Do you have it today available in this show? Uh, I'm glad you like it, and we are working hard to make it possible uh, to more people in the near future. And, and aside from this magical technology, uh, there's something you can buy of the shelf. Uh, very soon. Oh, hope so. So yeah. I'm waiting for that to get one. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. let's go. Uh, would you please find the front camera on the display? Can I can I check it uh, out? Sure. Uh, no, I, I don't see any camera option on the screen. It's just a flat screen all all over the the phone. Okay. So does that mean that behind it is camera, but in front I cannot see. The front camera, I, I, I can't find out. So, so cannot, is there a way we cannot take a selfie? Uh, how can I take a selfie then? Have a try. Come on, how you could just touch to this yeah. oh, icon no. and you I, just put. Can I touch here to get a camera? Uh, no, 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 no like only the icon. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. You can take a selfie. You look good today. <laughs> Yep, look up to this boy. That's pretty cool. Yeah. How do you do that? Uh, we yes. kill the hole uh, while keeping the camera on the display uh, so, uh, and make it possible to mass production. So you can have a 100% full screen and the light will go through the display to the CMOS, uh, the sensor of the camera and you can get a 100% full screen. Yeah. Wow, wow, really cool. That's really yeah. cool. So where do you yeah. guys design all these cool new products? Uh, actually, uh, Visionax is specialized in OLED industry for more than 20 years. And uh, uh, we actually have thousands of uh, hardworking and highly professional team consisting of thousands of uh, researchers and uh, uh, engineers in uh, Beijing, in Fengshan, in Hefei, and in Wuhan, and Guangzhou. Vision Ox is a company which is producing this mobile phone or just a screen. You, you work on the screen or mobile? The screen, right? Yeah, yeah sure, 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 sure. Just not, the not, technology. Not, yeah, on, on the screen technology. I, I'm yeah. sure they're providing this, this to providing all Providing to all over the world, to all the like uh, mobile phone companies. Yeah, and yeah. yeah I, I see, okay. Thank you, thank you so much. We're looking forward to buy it in the market soon. Uh, I, uh, it's on the way. Uh, it's already yeah, on the way. Hope to get it soon. It's the, it's the upgraded version, and this is the version for last year, and this is the upgraded uh, version. It's on the way. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks, thank you. See a lot. you. Yeah. So let's check out some more companies. Here is one of the world renowned uh, leading company in this industry. It's called BOE and uh, BOE's technology are widely used in a broad sp spectrum of applications such as mobile phones, tablets, notebooks, monitors, TVs, and vehicles. And uh, actually one screen out of every four smart terminals in the world comes, comes from BOE. So this is quite a, a famous company and it's based in China. Let's check out their displays. All right, let's check out. Yeah. What do you think is the coolest on this panel? Let me have a check. Yeah. This screen looks nice. Uh -huh. the, that one looks like a mobile computer and yeah. another screen. What's this one? It, I can see there is a like a watch. Yeah. Is it, is it, it looks, a mobile or a watch? Yeah, it looks like a watch, but actually it's a wrist mobile. You can rest, wear it on your wrist. Rest mobile. We got rest watch. We got <laughs> smart mobile. Now we got a rest mobile. Yes, yes. Combine those two wow, together. Wow, that's insane. Yes. So, uh, you can give us this product. Ah, you know, this is a mobile device that is combined with the mobile device. That is, it combines the mobile device and the mobile device.
做成一个二合一的一个应用场景，采用 BOE 的那个柔性屏，加上我们那个一体化高能量密度的柔性电池，这样的话，我们可以把手环啊、手机这样两个应用给它联合起来，对，这是我们的一个万代手机这样一个产品。Oh, I see, I see. So this is uh, using flexible screen on the mobile so uh, that people can wear on the wrist. Oh, the same time can, can like, especially for the athletes who are, like, uh, running, for the sport men who are, like, climbing the mountain for hiking, so you didn't need to take an, uh, like, extra bag to put on your wrist. Yeah. So you just put on your hand and and run as much as you can. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a really great convenient. idea. <laughs> it's really convenient, yeah. You read, you read really yeah, great. Yeah, you got it. Good yes. Yes. So what about this one? This one is the wind shear we just talked about, right? Remember in the car, when you see that, uh, it would be much cooler if there's a screen if there is in front. a display, yes. yes. Oh, and actually, okay. they have made it like, your dream come true here in this Sure, <laughs> yes. Oh, I, I finally got it here, uh -huh. just right here today. 呃，您能给我们介绍一下这块透明的显示屏？嗯，这是我们的那个京东方做的透明的 OLED。您可以看到，它手放在后面就很能够清晰的看到我们后面的手。然后我们做的这一块呢，可以用到汽车、高铁、地铁上面。然后它达到了百分之五十的透过率，采用京东方的这个透明应急提升技术这一块。所以说它它的一个应用场景后面对我们来说呢，还是很很很很广泛的。因为它可以兼容这个透明和显示两个应用场景，对。I see. So this transparent uh, screen can be used on cars, on high-speed railways, and on buses, so that people can look outside the window while also getting some interesting contents on the screen. And they have a wide uh, application scenario in the future. Okay. <laughs> what is the main? functionality different of this screen to a uh, like uh, conventional yeah it screen. actually it's transparent and the lights can 40 50 percent of the lights can come through this screen so it's different from traditional oh, screens for the for, for the eye protection yes no, oh, no 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 yeah it's for like uh, for cars for moving vehicles so that people can see the information on the screen while also see what's happening what outside happening outside the window yes yes I that's see. what it's for okay okay yes thank you thank you so the eye condition you just mentioned you were very concerned about your eye safety uh, sure health. because i'm among you guys the only one who has a uh, healthy eye at the moment <laughs> many guys are around me with the glasses <laughs> Yes, actually, with the development of this industry, there are a lot of screens in our lives today, and uh, our eyes, our vision may be impaired sometimes with so many screens. But the scientists here are finding solutions nowadays. So come with me and check out this new product. Maybe okay. there will be a healthy solution for your for our eye conditions. We can check out displays while also protect our eyes. Okay. A lot of like high resolution TVs here but the product I'm introducing here today is this one this okay. one is called mini LED right mini LED. yes so uh, hi uh, uh, what's different from other screens uh, uh, you can take out your phone and turn on your camera to right. yeah <laughs> All right, you have to clean the camera, right? Uh, sure. Uh, <laughs> yes. You can take a picture of the screen. And uh, have you noticed any difference of the screen from the traditional screens you see in your home? Uh, nope. <laughs> so could you let me have a check again? Yeah, uh, notice that the screen does not flicker. But when you take a oh, picture of traditional yes. screens... Oh, yes. Yes, I got it. Yes. The screen does not flicker, does not give those waves yes, yes. on it. Yeah, it's just like a mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. to yeah to reflect the the image. Yeah, very cool. So, do you have more to tell us about? Yeah, why can it uh, realize this function? 
。好，首先我简单的介绍一下这个屏幕，这是由 BOE 自主研发的主动式驱动的玻璃机 Mini LED P 零点九的产品。它区别于传统人市面的 SMD 和 COB 的产品呢，我们的驱动方式用了主动式的驱动，和 PM 的驱动相比，它减少了频闪的次数，也就是刚才嗯、呃、体验的就是没有频闪，这样对人眼是做做了一定的保护的。啊，所以在未来的显示上面，除了要满足好的画质以外，还需要对人眼进行一定的保护。而我们的屏幕呢，是这两点都兼顾做到。I see. So she just told me that this screen used the latest Active Matrix uh technology. This is a Active Matrix Mini LED, independently developed by BOE. So traditional screens, uh, they are driven using passive matrix, uh, which uh can. Which can like make the screen flicker sometimes, and different between the different functions between active and passive metrics is that active metrics provides a more stable image quality. The screen will not flicker, and it can significantly reduce the damage to human eyes. Okay. So it has a variety of advantages such as uh, no splash screen, lower power consumption, and better brightness uniformity. uniformity. It is driven with high efficiency, more eye-friendly, allows、uh, splicing in any sizes. Okay. Yes. Wow. Thank you. It's really cool. <laughs> also, there are a lot of international companies here today. You can、okay. see over here. There's Sharp, Samsung, and、uh, Microsoft over there. So this is a real-world convention for the display yeah, industry. Yeah. <laughs> China is.、Uh, Has been a very huge market、uh, for the international big companies、uh, since many years. Yes, definitely.、So. They provide a lot of opportunities to envir-、uh, to international companies. Companies, yeah. And、sure. uh, you know, right、uh, yesterday at the opening ceremony of this convention, a lot of international guests share their views about the China's display industry. Like at the opening ceremony,、uh, the Secretary General of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization said in a video speech、mm -hmm. that the conference will encourage different countries and different groups of people, including those from the Shanghai Cooperation Organization countries,、oh. to work together to meet challenges and share fruits of globalization and achieve mutually beneficial results. And、uh, the CEO of Merck Electronics said that. A golden era for the electronics industry has just begun, and China will be the spearhead of this dynamic environment. So, what do you think of this convention?、Uh, yes, I think,、uh, especially today's、uh, exhibition is a real eye opener. I have some new outlooks of China's display industry. The innovation of these screens will greatly change our lives in the future, and our life sense will be definitely changed. Yes, China is really determined to develop those emerging industries, such、yeah. as the new display industry, and、uh, provide adequate policy for the establishment of the industrial chain. So China seeks its own development as well as welcome other countries from the world to part participate and share the fruits of the industry. So I believe that in the future we can all see a better world with the development of this display industry. Sure, like. Uh, technological innovations definitely bring more convenient things and opportunities to our life.、Uh, as I have、uh, attended to some conferences before, and I have seen especially Hefei City how it became a digital and smart, so how it changed the citizens' life through the innovative、uh, like tools.、Uh, I'm sure in the future it will be better and better. Yes. So this is all for today. Please do stay tuned for more of the exciting explorations in China. I'm Xiaoyue with Xinhua News Agency. See you next time. All right. See you. Bye. Bye.